Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today, we are going to talk about top 5 Thai conversation starters. Tips that you can use to improve your communication skills in Thai with. So if you're interested, please continue watching this video. I have given you a lot of conversational tips before, but they were mostly phrases. In this video, I want to focus more on the cultural aspect because you can be grammatically correct and use all the right words, but sometimes you just talk in a way that people are not used to and this makes it harder for them to trust you or to understand you. So this is something quite crucial. First thing I know is that non-native speakers start their conversations with something really basic like สวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับ That's not how Thai people start a conversation. If you meet someone in random places and you say สวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับ They will look at you like and reply with สบายดีครับ with an awkward smile greeting a stranger by saying สวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับ It's not in Thai culture It's kind of a silly question for us If I wasn't feeling well, you wouldn't see me here I would be in a hospital or raising at home So say something else that make more sense If you want to know when we use Sabadi Mai You can check out my video about 5 things Thai native speakers never say by clicking right here In this video, I'll give you some examples of scenarios where you can use different topics to start a conversation in multiple situations but firstly, I want you guys to understand that I'm not a teenager. What I'm about to tell you is not from a teen's perspective. I have met a lot of people in my entire life, both Thai and foreigners, professionally and personally. I'm not that kind of person that has a lot of energy to talk to strangers all the time. I'm like, if someone talks to me and they know how to approach me, it makes me want to continue the conversation more deeply. On the other hand, if someone starts a conversation inappropriately, it turns me off. So I don't want that to happen to you. Before we concern ourselves with what kind of topic you want to talk about, you have to make it clear what the purpose is that why you want to talk to that person. For example, I just want to practice my Thai and want to talk to people. She's pretty, I want to hit on her. They could be my potential prospect. So ask yourself first. Let's dive into a basic scenario that you might have come across every day. If you are in a lift alone and a person comes in, you can ask him or her. ฉันไหนครับฉันไหน which means which floor are you going to and then place the button for them if more than two people come in at the same time I don't recommend you to say this because it's unclear as to who you are asking unless it's a group of people that have entered together and are going to the same floor that's fine if the building is really high or there is a gap between the floors that you and that person are going to, you can start talking by making a statement about something obvious, such as Twitter. Today it's really hot. Now you have to see their reaction. If they reply with only ka or krab, there are two reasons behind this. Number one is they don't want to talk to you. Number two is they don't think your Thai is that good to keep this conversation it's going any further. But if they reply with Thai ka, ron mak lei. Yes, it's really hot. Hang jak air mai dai lei. ห่างจากแอร์ไม่ได้เลย I can't stay outside without air conditioner or they might say เมื่อวานไม่ร้อนขนาดนี้เมื่อวานไม่ร้อนขนาดนี้ 
yesterday was better or yesterday it's not this hot now it's your job to reply what they have said if you don't understand you can reply with กำลังเรียนภาษาไทยอยู่ครับฟังไม่ทัน or shorter way is เรียนภาษาไทยอยู่ครับฟังไม่ทันเรียนภาษาไทยอยู่ค่ะฟังไม่ทัน I'm learning Thai and couldn't catch up what you said even if you can hear every single word but don't know how to respond properly the next thing that you can talk about is about traffic if you live in Bangkok of course you can complain about the traffic you can complain about everything that bothers you but in a friendly way by saying จังเลยนะ or นะครับนะคะ at the end วันนี้รถติดจังเลยนะวันนี้รถติดจังเลยนะ the traffic is terrible today the next scenario is in a bar or in a restaurant if you see someone is sitting alone you can approach them or if they just come in and sit next to you are you waiting for someone? รอใครอยู่หรือเปล่าครับรอใครอยู่หรือเปล่าคะ Are you waiting for someone is the safest way to start a conversation หรือเปล่า is a tag question that used to reform and sounds nicer than my this question can be used with any gender if you like her but you are not sure if she is alone or she is waiting for her partner you now know what to do next if she says i'm waiting for my friend รอเพื่อนอยู่ค่ะรอเพื่อนอยู่ครับ now you can go to next step you can ask them to reconfirm something that is obvious such as ผมชอบบรรยากาศร้านนี้ ผมชอบบรรยากาศร้านนี้ I really like the atmosphere here อาหารร้านนี้อร่อยคุณว่าไหมอาหารร้านนี้อร่อยคุณว่าไหม The food here is delicious Do you agree with me? It could be anything And I'm not teaching you how to hit on a girl These sentences can be used to start a conversation With native speakers It could be a waiter or a waitress in that restaurant You can ask for advice What do you like the most? คุณชอบอะไรมากที่สุดคุณชอบอะไรมากที่สุดมีอาหารแนะนำไหม or you can say มีเมนูแนะนำไหม do you have any recommended dishes asking for advice can be used in any situation whether you going to shopping or you go to a shop to fix something the last scenario is if you go on a date like the first date ever you already know that person a little bit right the most important thing i want all of the gentlemen who is watching right now to avoid saying is Kun Sui, you're beautiful don't say that it sounds cheesy and sound insincere you can compliment her with something else Chut Kun Sui Zhang, your dress looks amazing or your hair looks great ทรงผมคุณสวยจัง it could be anything about her outfit but don't say directly you are beautiful most of Thai girls wouldn't appreciate it if you say this on the first date or start a conversation with but if you are in a relationship it's another story these topics can be apply in any situation you can start talking to a native speaker of any age any gender topics that you shouldn't talk about as something negative about that person politics religion the king and royal members when starting a conversation people love to talk about themselves you can ask them about their interest what do you like or ask a question to reconfirm about something don't be shy to start a conversation because this is the only way to 
help you improve your Thai. I hope this video will help you be more confident when starting a conversation with a native speaker. Lastly, I want you guys to request a topic for next video. What should it be? Let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button and if you would like to donate to my channel you have a link in the description below you can put any amount that you think that worth for your money and i'll see you next time bye